It's going to be a disassembly video of the 1888 Springfield trap door with a ramrod bayonet. I want to kind of do this at a distance, this first part. And this one is different than the other trap doors in that the ramrod bayonet mechanism is permanently attached to the end of the barrel and the barrel bands do not come off during the disassembly process. It's similar, but it is a little bit different, and that's why I'm going to make a different video to help people. Now, first thing you do is check if your gun's unloaded. Okay, we know it's unloaded. Now, on the 45 70s, the early 50s only have two positions. You go to the second position, or first position. 45 70s have a three position hammer. This one here off the of rest, and the second click, which is safe. That's where you want to go. Put your gun on safe. Now, you have to withdraw the ramrod banner. If you're not familiar with this mechanism, then go to my channel and find a video of an overview where there's a close up on how to do this. You hit the latch and pull it out. And then this goes out to the locked position. And you press the latch again and remove the ramrod bayonet completely just like if it was a cleaning rod. And again, you got bayonet springs which are holding the barrel bands. So you just depress them and slide them off. Well, this, you see they're not going to come off the gun. You get all up here. But you remove, you slide the bands up, up forward here. They don't come off. It's about the only difference. And then the difference is how you get the stock up. To remove the lock, again, like I said, you just go to the back side, loosen the two screws, two or three turns. So, depending on how your gun is and how tight the lock is inletted into the stock, then you take the soft face mallet, give the screws a tap, and that'll help move the lock plate out. These will vary. Some guns will be loose and warm, others, this one's fairly tight. And you want to try to keep it equal, you'll have to loosen a little, tap, loosen a little and work that lock plate out of the stock. If it's not free falling, it's free falling already. Okay. So we're just going to unscrew these. Kind of equally there. Now our lock's out of the gun. You could remove the screws if there is some of them are in a pretty tight. So I'm not going to remove them. Now the big difference is here. This is where you got to be careful, is when you remove the tang screw. I'll back this up. The stock goes into this cap here. So you want to get the action out, pull it like this, but don't pull it out. What you got to do is just gently lift the stock up a little and slide it out of its nose thing so you don't break the end of the stock. Okay, because it's... I'll give you a look at what we got here. See there's our barrel bands. And there's this, this... This is permanently attached. And your stock slides in to that... There's a cup like... Or, an area for it to slide in. So when you loosen the uh, action, you have to slide it out so you don't break that stock on the end. Very important. Okay? And then, just like all the other trap doors, we take our 3 16 uh, punch, drift our pin out, and remember, do not try drift out the pin because it has a long thing with another little pin that aligns in the receiver. If you try to drift this out 
while it's still in the stock, it will break the stock. You don't want to do that. Again, drive it out. This one kind of comes out pretty easy. Now you may just want to go where you move the breech bolt and you don't want to mess with the ejector because it is very difficult to get that back in. It's kind of tricky. You got to jack it around with the punch. But I've done it so much that I've got it down to a few minutes. Your ejector comes out and uh, the spring and little detent. Then you have your thumb piece and firing pin that come out of the breech bolt. You'll have to remove the thumb piece first. I'm going to move the camera to get a closer look at all of this. You have to forgive me. I, I forget that some of you may be just looking for the specific model and have not seen the other videos on the trap doors. But in the receiver here is where the spring and detent go. The ejector goes in the left side of the receiver. It has its own thing, its niche in there. And that's what we just took out. And once you get the breech block out, there's a screw you can see right there which is for the thumb piece. Just put the screwdriver in. And the reason is you want to check your firing pin, make sure it's free moving, not rusting. You want to also, you know, check underneath here, make sure there's no rust in any of this. Okay, get the screw out. Now the thumb piece, just kind of push it towards the rear and towards you, and it should pop right out of there. There's a detent shaft, the plate, and then there's a spring. It goes in a, in a hole in there, there's a spring there. Now that once you have that out, you expose the screw, which holds the uh, firing pin in. Now this one here, you should have a brass aluminum, or brass, yeah, brass aluminum alloy pin. You pull this screw out, and now your firing pin should come out. When I had this gun, ah, see, there's rust already in there. I had to clean all that out. It started rusting on me. Uh, I had to drill it out and uh, get the old firing pin out. It was frozen from oil in that, and see where this is starting to rust. I got to clean, I'm going to have to flush that all out and then clean that. I don't know how that rust got down in there. But that's about as far as you want to go. You don't really want, if you have to take the trigger guard off or work on the trigger, be careful because it's fitted tight. And I'm not really sure how you can draw that out without damaging or chipping the wood. There's two wood screws hold it in there. That's why I don't do it. Um, so now I'm going to have to clean this all up and then uh, I'll show you how to reverse order it and put it all back together. Now it's reassembly time. We've cleaned, oiled, and checked everything. So we're going to start with the breech bolt and the firing pin. The firing pin's got a uh, little cutout in there where the uh, screw that retains it locks it into place. So you put it in to the breech, do you see that slot line up in there? And drop your screw in and screw this down. You're retaining. You might have to play with it to line it up. Wants to give me a hard time, I see. 